during the cardiac cycle, blood is supposed to travel from the atria into the ventricles and then from the ventricles into the vessels which depart from the heart. During the cardiac cycle, however, there are moments where blood would travel in the opposite direction, in an inappropriate direction, if, give, if given the chance, because it is simply traveling from an area of high pressure to low. It would travel from the ventricles into the atria, or from the vessels which exit the heart back into the ventricles. To prevent this inappropriate flow of blood, there are valves. Valves are essentially doors which close when blood is attempting to go the wrong way. Two valves are known as atrioventricular valves or AV valves because they separate an atrium from a ventricle. They can be identified because they have an atrium above them. They also can be identified by the chordae tendineae, which attach them to the strap-like papillary muscles. The semilunar valves, the second set of valves, lack these structures. The right AV valve possesses three cusps and is also known as the tricuspid, while the left AV valve possesses two cusps and is also known as the bicuspid and can also be called the mitral valve. And so left AV valve, bicuspid, and mitral valves are synonyms referring to the same valve. The two semilunar valves separate a ventricle from the vessel which proceeds from them. And so the pulmonary semilunar valve separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary trunk, while the aortic semilunar valve separates the left ventricle from the aorta. These semilunar valves can be recognized because they possess a vessel above them, not an atrium, and they lack the chordae tendineae, which are observed in the AV valve.